uh, he was injured in a jump accident and was hospitalized and had some fairly severe injuries. In fact, it's uh, going to end his career in the military. That was the news Jeff Retorto heard about his son while he was living 700 miles away in Indianapolis. The first night we, that I got here and went to the hospital, um, one of the nurses there recommended we call the Fisher House and see if they have room. While recovering, Mr. Retorto and his son will make the Fort Bragg Fisher House their home. It's one of 64 mainly across the U.S. that allows military families to stay for free while being treated. You never want to be in that position. You never expect to be in that position, but it sure is welcome. We never knew this place was here all those years until until Michael died and then uh, some of my family stayed here when they came for the memorial service. Lori Sutherland also had to make use of the Fisher House back in 2007 when her son Michael died while serving in Iraq but she hasn't left. In all actuality it's like God took one son and blessed me with a bunch more you know I have a, the soldiers that come in through here are like my kids. Lori is now the manager of the 21-year-old seven-room Fisher House that last year served 278 families with nearly 2,000 free bed nights. When you're in the military, your family the other side of the country. And so the Fisher House and the military, they step up and uh, we take care of our own. The Fisher House stays busy with families dealing with everything from cancer to training accidents. Next year, they will move into a new 10,000 square foot, 12 room home. The soldiers come in and the first thing they always ask us is how much does it cost and how long they can stay. And we tell them it doesn't cost anything and they stay as long as it takes.